Hi, I'm Horang, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a loopback adapter. By creating a loopback adapter, you can connect your physical computer to your GNS3 virtual environment, meaning you can bring your physical computer to your virtual environment. So let's get started. To create a loopback adapter, you can right click on your my computer or computer on your desktop, choose manage. And then let me resize this. All right. Then choose device manager. And then on top in this window, right click on the name of your computer and choose add legacy hardware. Then a window appears. You want to add a new hardware. Click next. Then it says, ask you, what do you want to do? Search for and install the hardware automatically or install the hardware that I manually select from a list. So we're going to go for the second one, which is easier and it's faster. So I click on the second one, click next. Then from this list, you need to, you to choose your network adapter. Click next and it retrieves a list of all devices here choose Microsoft and then from the list that it gives you choose Microsoft loopback adapter and then click next and it installs the software the new adapter for you so finish now, if you go to your network and sharing center and you look at the uh, network cards that you have there, you will see that a new virtual adopt, uh, a loopback adapter has been added. You see that here, Microsoft loopback adapter. This is the one that I've already created. The second one that just now I showed you is this one local area connection 2 this is Microsoft loopback adapter 2 so I'm gonna rename this and put the name of Microsoft loopback 2 now at this point you have to restart your system if you want this uh, loopback adapter to appear in your uh, GNS3 I emphasize on the restarting your system, otherwise you won't see this adapter in your GNS3 uh, list of network cards. So since I'm not going to restart my system, I'm going to use the previous loopback adapter that I have created. So I start my GNS3, then let's bring in one router. I have a 7200 router, so I bring that in. Now my router is in. Now if you want to bring any other computers or virtual machine, uh, I'll show you how to connect your virtual machine to this environment as well later in the future videos. But for this purpose now I need to choose this cloud. So you drag and drop this cloud into your topology environment. Right click on the cloud and then choose configure. Then in this window, click on the first cloud that you have. Go to NIO Ethernet card. Then here you see an under generic Ethernet NIO administrator access required as well. So uh, th this is important. Uh, sometimes you come here and you don't have any list here. It means that you need to run your GNS3 with administrator access. So let me show you how to do that. If you want to run your GNS3 with administrative access, just right click on that on, and run as administrator. If you want to do it uh, permanent, you want to make it permanent, just go to properties and compatibility and click on run this program as administrator. So whenever you run this program, the program will be run as administrator. 
so at this point I have I can see all the list of the cards that we have so I don't need to uh, rerun my GNS3 so here I'm going to choose this Microsoft loopback choose this click add now it is added apply and OK now connect your router to this cloud this cloud represents your physical computer now so I'm going to use a fast Ethernet port and connect click on the cloud then connect this card to your router so we are done now your computer is connected